What is going on, beautiful people? We are currently at my home, mi casa. Skydive the land. It's another beautiful day in Florida. Today they're actually running the uh, sky van, so I'm super stoked. Today was my first day jumping out of the sky van, but that's besides the point. The reason we're here on this video is because a couple weeks ago or maybe a month ago on The Bachelor, the TV show, there was an accident with skydiving. Um, a lot of the skydivers have seen it, so I'm here to get their opinions on it, just get their general reactions to it, maybe get their thoughts. And then at the end, of course, I'll give my personal opinion. The video is pretty gnarly. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and include it now. So yeah, as you saw, that video is pretty gnarly. I'm just gonna basically show skydivers the video and then move forward and get their opinions on it. Here's my opinion at the end of the video. Boom, let's get it, boys. Hey, I'm Holly. Jump number. Um, that was jump number 37. Sweet. Hi, I'm Colby. Uh, I've got 18 jumps. What's up, Kevin? Uh, that was jump, just jump number 36. I'm Marcus, uh, jump number like 48. I just need to watch it. I'm Trevor, I have 240 jumps. I'm Kaylee, I have 28 jumps. Oh. Is this your first time seeing it or not? This hurts. Oh my god. Oh my god. What are your after times? I've done that. <laughs> <laughs> Nate, Nate in the See? middle of packing right now. Yeah. See, he was talking about me now. All right, introduce your name. Uh, my name's George. And how many jumps do you have? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Nathan, I got uh, like, you know, um, probably like 3,000 jumps. Ben. Not, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> like 80. Oh my god. Bro, why was he turning so? Oh my. How does that make you feel? <laughs> Who the f gave him his certification, bro? <laughs> all right, so just got done jumping the sky van basically all day. I think we got four or five jumps in. I can't even remember to be honest. Somebody was talking about the wind tunnel. Uh, let me step in the light. Somebody was talking about the wind tunnel, so uh, that's where we're headed now. This was kind of a last minute thing. I wasn't even sure if I was gonna go or not, but sending it. Commissioner! <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> This man's got a whole gallon, bro. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 feel it, and then we can post it. <laughs> Already on that live feed. Yeah, yeah buddy. Man. You almost done, bud? <laughs> it's not. You're still coming. This man's draining the main vein. Let's go. Seconds, man. Get the in the car, bro. Feel about a gallon lighter, dude. Come on, buddy. 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 Okay, so that was the first time I've ever been to the tunnel. And thank you to this guy. Appreciate you. Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate it. Bow, 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 bow. But yeah, that was my first time at the tunnel. Um, it was a workout, hello, a workout. I had no idea it was gonna be as intensive as it was. It was completely unplanned. Um, Spidey and Nate were like, hey, you wanna go to the tunnel? And so we all went with Craig. It's a good time, it was my first time once again. Wild, um, definitely wanna come back, but uh, I think we're gonna grab some food with the boys now. Over there, 
Phil B's hair. Phil B's hair. Yeah, buddy. Hey. What up? Yeah, buddy. And then, of course, everywhere we go, Nathan's taking a piss, as always, Nathan, per usual. Alright, right, we're taking the boat out with the boys. Uh, should be a good day. I'm pretty stoked on it. <laughs> yeah, buddy. We got a tweeze. We got a tweeze. You know, we got a half and half. We got the regular. We're going to get a claws, you know. A little bit of water, you know. We don't need too much of that. Alright, beautiful people. We've made it to the dock. Currently about to take the boat out. So the next things you're probably gonna see is probably some highlights because um, I'm trying to draw myself right here. Gang, gang. Gang, gang. Yo. Cheers, bud. Alright, we're calling it a wrap with the jet skis, the boat, all of that. Uh, we're probably gonna go grab some food right now, so uh, probably gonna call it an eye after that. It's been pretty hectic. Yeah, boys. So, um, as you can tell, this week has been really hectic. We were skydiving, we were, went to the tunnel, we sent it out the sky van, literally threw somebody out the sky van. That was Holly. Um, as you saw in the video and then uh, we took out the skis and the boats. So yeah, this week was pretty hectic I wanted to go ahead and answer some questions that I had got um, the first one on my last video Let me go ahead and see if I can screen record this. We're currently in the van Outside of skydive the land But either which way let me see if I can go ahead and screen record this for you guys this way We can read along the questions together um, So the first one is gonna be Let me see if I can find it Oh, okay, so the first one is gonna be from Facebook. This was one that I got um, from Facebook Messenger. It says, but I honestly had a million questions. They were asking about van life earlier. I'll probably do a whole separate video on van life. But anyway, what's your end goal? Like, end as in, I know you mentioned da da da, forgive a lack of knowledge, flying squirrel suits, skydiving. I was wondering what's your end goal in life, period? Or are you just kind of playing it as it goes? So, to answer your question, as of right now, I'm kind of just winging it. Um, Skydiving, yes. Uh, base jumping, yes. Wingsuiting, yes. Um, that's going to take a long time, like probably a year or two, maybe more, just to get all those things done because I have a bunch of video ideas and a bunch of skydives and base jumps and wingsuit flights that I want to get done personally. After that, the who knows because, I mean, I don't have a crystal ball. I can't tell you what's going to happen two to three years from now, but let's say... If I did, yes, I would have a successful YouTube channel. Yes, I would have gotten all those things done that I wanted to. Base jumping, wingsuiting. Yes, I'm doing all of it skydiving. Um, I'd like to kind of make a name for myself in the sport. Um, kind of make a name for myself on YouTube itself moving forward. Um, but then as far as a house and kids and things like that, it's just not something I'm really focused on right now, just to be honest. Maybe later in life, but not right now. All right, so secondly, this is the one that we have here. And this one I actually got off of the YouTube comments. Let me see. It says, great question. Oh, no, sorry. Nice video. Already subbed a while ago. I was curious about how you balance work and enjoyment on the drop zone. Do you have fixed working days as a packer or do you work as needed? 
Okay, so this is the tough one. Um, yes, I'm a packer. So what that means is when people skydive, their parachutes are obviously deployed. What my job is to do is to put them back in the container or the little backpack that you see people wearing to make things as simple to understand as possible. My job is to take the canopy, the thing that goes over your head that lets you fall safely to the ground and put it back inside the backpack or the rig. This way you can skydive again. Um, balancing both, yes, it's difficult because when I'm working, I'm seeing people play and it makes me want to play and then sometimes I decide to skydive. But I'm working on that and um, my communication with my coworkers, making sure that they're on the same page um, and where everybody's communicating that everybody's getting the same workload and nobody feels like they're being overworked because yes, we are independent contractors, but at the end of the day, we work as a team to make sure that all the skydivers at Skydive the Land can make safe, jumps and do that quickly and sufficiently and it's not fun if somebody's slacking and other people are working harder than other people so it is tough balancing that i'm not gonna lie but i'm trying to do the best that i can trying to balance a youtube channel balance getting my jump numbers up so i can base jump and skydive and at the same time work my butt off to make money to survive even though i don't need too too much money because once again i live in a van i hope that answers your question but yeah work-life balance is always difficult when you play where you work I hope that helps last but not least um i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a jump that we did it was a five-way it was called a molecule where everybody kind of grabs onto each other at a random spot you'll kind of see it in the video and then we fall out like a as a big blob it was a lot of fun on the break off i ended up falling literally on top of nathan you'll be able to see that but yeah go ahead and enjoy the video guys like comment and subscribe if you haven't already um if you have any questions moving forward go ahead and comment below because obviously i do read them and i want to respond to you guys i want to make sure that i'm giving you an inside look to what skydiving is and the community and all that so go ahead and comment i do read them i will reply subscribe and then like the video because it does help the algorithm moving forward all right love you guys enjoy the video Pew!